There is a big possibility that I'm pregnant again. What the f time we don't use a condom? We're just so stupid. You are not pregnant. <sighs> Happy birthday. What are you doing? You can't kiss his lips. Too powerful for you. Oh. I met a girl, a lonely hot mama. <laughs> are you breaking up with me? Daddy's a cheater! I want to get married. That's forever. So what was the point of coming back to you in the first place? That's because I'm stupid. What a promise ring. I want to be with you. I decided to go with the GED. Ah! I'm all right, I'm all right. Like, you know how to do this, I just can't remember. I found all of it. Uh, I want to marry a woman who's on her game. Watch what you say! Oh my god. We should take a trip together. I was thinking of Florida. Get your feet in the sand, Boogie. Do you want to marry me? It's weird seeing me in a wedding dress. I need you to come and get Leah, please. Well, then get a babysitter. If we're going to get married, then things need to change. Remember, if you don't come back from solve your problems, it's going to be it. No, if I didn't have Leah, we would not be together. Then why are we together now? Get out. Daddy left you again. I want to be with my family. She doesn't love you. Get out. I'm keeping her for a while. Oh, really? How long is that? Forever. The worst nightmare a mom could have happened today. Yeah. Do you want to get punched in your face? You want to hit me, man? Who's this dude she's seen, dude? I don't know anything about him. He's getting shit with me like I did something. I do not want to hear his voice or I will hang the phone of it and not talk to you. I want you to be happy. <laughs> All right, well, we've discussed the issue of domestic violence, but right now we're going to talk about everything else that's going on in your life first, all right? Self-defense training with that uh, Krav Maga, is that what yeah, they call it? Yeah, Krav Maga. It, did that help you channel your anger? Yeah, a lot, actually. Um, in, in, in my work, we don't typically give people evocative treatments as a way of channeling anger, because that just makes you more, more charged up. It was up, like therapy it? to me, actually. It was good When I you. released in Krav Maga, it was, it was amazing. It was like, when I went home, I was so calm. On your birthday, you said babies make you get older faster. Yeah, that's what I felt like. How long has it been since you felt like a teenager? I never felt like a teenager. Even when I was living with my parents, I still basically had to take care of myself. So you were parentalized as a young child? Oh, yeah. I had to take care of myself pretty Are much you fearful that. you're going to parentalize Leah? Yeah, because I know that it can happen. I know that. So her seeing you guys sense. fighting, feeling the chaos, is that what you were exposed to as a kid? <laughs> so it's life, the cycle repeating itself, right? Yeah. We don't want that to happen again, do we? How would things have been different if you didn't have a baby? Probably less stressful, would have graduated, felt a little bit better about myself, you know, I didn't feel like a low life. If Gary left, I probably wouldn't have been so sad. Um, you try, you're trying to get your education now, what's going on with that? Nothing. Can't get it going? Be honest, I just don't have the energy for it, don't have the drive. Because you're so stressed out, raising a baby. I don't know what it is. Just don't care. Don't care about school or I don't care about myself, so. Why not? Excuse my language. Yeah, Amber, you're not a bad person. You're not a bad person. But it can't go on. It cannot go on. Let me ask you this. You don't feel good about what you just saw, right? Okay. Were you, were you blacked out or whited out? Yeah. I didn't even remember that. You didn't know what you were doing, right? Yeah. I mean, I knew what it was doing, but I don't remember. When I watch it back, I don't remember it being like that. I don't remember that, like, being so much. I, and it's like, I feel like I hit him one time, and I watch him, like, hit him, like, multiple times. The things I say, it's like, if that was said to me, I would go crazy on somebody. And like, he holds his peace so much. Should he even be with me? Shh, no, no, no. <laughs>
Let's bring Gary out, okay? Can we do that? All right, we're gonna take a break first, okay? They may decide to go their separate ways. We're gonna find out what they wanna do when we come back right after the break. We're back, this is the Teen Mom Finale Special. I'm Dr. Drew. Before the break, we were talking to Amber about the stresses of being a mom. Let's get now into the relationship with Gary. So, how are things with you two? We're not together, but we want to be. It's just we're trying to be safe about it. Um, things have been kind of unsafe at times. Yeah. Are you still fighting? Yeah. All right, well, let's bring Gary out here, shall we? Yeah. Gary, come on out. Hey Gary, how are you? We good. Amber's already crying. What's up, my dear? What are you feeling? I don't know why he loves me. Is there a reason she didn't love you? All I know is like just lash out. Are you hell bent on pushing him away? I tell him all the time that I don't want to be with them, but Is that really how you feel? How do you really feel? <laughs> so Amber, if you want him to go. Why do you stay? Because I love him. You love him too. You don't really show that very often, do you? No. All right, Gary, let me talk to you. You say you love Amber. Yeah. She treats you like hell. Why <laughs> do you stay? Not all the time. Oh, because the moments that are good, they're always really good. But you've had to tolerate some pretty bad stuff. Yeah. More than any other couple on the show, fights tend to get physical between you guys, right? And that's something we're gonna take a good look at. So here's an example. You wanna f me? Amber, quit. Amber, you need to get off me. Amber? No, I swear to God, I wish I was bigger than you. I'd f beat your ass. One more hit. One more hit. What, you gonna f hit me? No. Do you wanna get punched in your f face? You wanna hit me then? Alright. Are you done? Are you seriously done? Thank you. Don't you ever come here again, you fat piece of I'm You are trash. Good. You are so lucky and you better watch your goddamn back. <sighs> okay. It's hard to watch this stuff. It's very hard. Makes you want to shake, <laughs> doesn't it? This has to stop. We all agree. Yeah. Has to stop, yes? Yeah. Okay. And you can't stop it yourself. You get you get into a state where you don't know what you're doing. And I that's... know what I'm doing. It's just afterwards when I watch it, it's like I don't remember it going on like that. Right, you're, you distort things. Yeah. Gary, at some point you have to set up consequences for this. Well, when I, I, I mean, the, I, we've talked about like, hey, trying to stop it, it just pushes you further away. Why know. did you call the cops? I don't call the police because, I don't know, I just don't want it to. Embarrass you. I don't want to get you in trouble. Gary, it, it's like dealing with an addict, you know, sometimes you have to set down some real, no, no, it, you have to set down some real serious consequences that helps her not do these things. Right, okay? I don't mind that. You're right, you need to, exactly. How did you feel walking down those stairs after she pushed all your crap down the stairs? That hurt, like, emotionally worse than anything. So, do you want to get better? Yeah. You're going to ask for help? Kind of desperate. Desperate for help. Sorry. I don't believe that. So here, here's something I want to share with you. Now think about later when you hear this fact. 80 to 90 percent of children living in homes where there is domestic violence are fully aware of what's going on. You <laughs> both have lived through the impact of domestic violence, have you not? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, even though she seems like a little kid who's dancing in her mom's shoes, she knows. She knows. She's okay. smart. She no, she like absorbs it. Like, if we hug each other, even if we're doing really good and we hug and kiss each other, she comes up to us and she pushes us away and she says no. So, what, what people out here want to know, this is what people who are not accustomed to these histories, these situations. How can you do that when you know that? How can you engage in this violence? At the time, something clicks literally in my head. And it's like, bam, like, white light, I'm out. You white out. And, uh, it's like, 
uh, know everything I'm exactly doing, you know, because... What people watching this would be very fearful of is that you might, in one of those whited out or dissociated states, you'd hit the other. Yeah. How do we know that's not going to happen? I've just never even contemplated. Usually before things happen, I'm already thinking about it. I already know that. I already know that. Well, I'm going to... What would happen if you start thinking about hitting your child? What would you do? I would put her in a crib, go in the other room. Okay. Maybe she's safe. what you'll need to do is come up with a similar mechanism for dealing with Gary. Yeah. You cannot be focused on winning fights. You guys are busy trying to win. We, you, one of you wins, both of you loses. It's true, especially if Leo loses. Yeah. When somebody wins. You guys say you want help. What kind of help are you reaching out for? The couple's counseling is good for what's going on in our life right now. Good. I mean, that, to me, that's, that is priority number one. Okay, Amber, let's, let's just revisit something that you've always been very, very clear about for people watching how stressful it is to be a teen mom. You don't know where to go um, sometimes in life. You feel like you're stuck and there's nothing you can do about it. You don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like what to do with uh, myself sometimes with her. I feel like I'm still growing and I'm not grown enough, you know, obviously. Um, and I have so many problems, how can I possibly Make sure she's okay. If you were talking to Amber, teach her. I want you to talk to Amber at age 16. What would you tell Amber? Just don't even have sex. Like, don't even go near it. Why would you want to put yourself in that position when you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You can have, you're going to have a baby if, like, we wasn't using condoms for a while, actually. So stupid. Would you tell her that babies need grown-ups? For yeah, the, for their parents. Maybe these grown ups and people who uh, don't have so many problems themselves. Leah needs a good life, and I need to try everything in my passion to make sure that she has that good life. And I need to help myself first, though, before I can get to that. The guys you're you're dating now, it seems like you're choosing bad guys, kind of. Doesn't, doesn't, yeah. <laughs> How do you justify that, given the impact those guys are likely to have on Leah? In my mind, I, this, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm like, well, they're not as bad as me. Oh. Oh, really? Do you see how that works here? They're a representation of how she feels about herself. Yeah. You're a good guy, so she feels bad. They're a bad guy, so she can feel better. So it's like that my relationship with her will never work out? No, nope, not saying that. Well, I'm true. asking you to understand it. we got to get her feeling better about herself. All right, so as we ended the season, Chris was still in the picture. But what's the status of Chris? We are not together anymore. Um, he had stayed over somewhere one night, and I, he didn't want to say anything. I was like, okay, I'm done with the chain boy. I was like, okay, bye. Can we uh, be finished with that? Yeah. She actually did something that surprised me. What happened? Recently, she opened up to me and actually was saying sorry for some things that she's done. And she's never actually said, hey, Gary, I made a mistake here. Nice. You want to do that again? I'm so sorry for everything. It kills me to even think that you would feel terrible. You know, I don't want to make you feel terrible. Sometimes I feel like you shouldn't even be with me, and I just push you away. But I am really sorry, and I love you. Do you want to stop so pushing me away? If I don't do it on purpose. I mean, do you want to stop? Well, yeah, of course. Maybe it might help us work out. Well, I don't know why I do it. I think I just you know I think really love love you. It's not you, Gary. It's about your histories, and it's about how you relate together. And this takes hard work with a professional, and you've got to stay with that professional for a long time to come to work this stuff out to where you can have a more satisfying, safe, and stable relationship. How is Leah doing? She hitting the developmental milestones, she's talking, walking, oh, yeah. engaging with other kids. She gives me kisses and hugs, <laughs> and they give her kisses, and I'm just so cute. You went better for Leah. Okay. All right, now make no mistake, female to male abuse is just that. It's abuse. Whether it's been instigated by the man or the woman, it's unacceptable regardless. So if you're watching at home, and you or someone you know is struggling with an abusive relationship, Help is available. Learn more at loveisrespect.org. It's loveisrespect.org.